This is Jackie Helvey, and I'm here at Lanza's Cafe in Carborough at 601 West Main Street. And I'm speaking this morning with Christina and Catherine. Hey! Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for meeting with me. Thank you. Um, your place is so cool. You know, it, it's you have so much more than I ever realized. Yeah. Um, you must be thrilled with the way things are going. We could not have, be happier. Oh, good. <laughs> could not so, be happier. So, let's start out by uh, telling us a little bit about yourselves and what made you come here and want to take over this place. Sure. So, I'm Christina. I'm Christina. <laughs> Last name is Vod, but my maiden name is Cheryl Lanza, which is where we got the name Lanzas. Oh. So we named it in, in honor of my late father, Guy Cheryl Lanza. Um, I'm originally from upstate New York where my father ran a small uh, hotel, bar, restaurant in Medina, New York. Moved to North Carolina in 2011 and um, after my dad's passing, Catherine and I wanted to start a nonprofit to help give back to to do patient advocacy work, to help give back to the community and help people who are caring for their sick or dying loved ones, um, to provide services, whether it be from you know patient advocacy to estate planning. So through that process and through the process of taking care of my dad, um, we realized how difficult it is to start a nonprofit, and we always loved this spot. And we heard that it was going to be potentially for sale, or that they would be interested in selling. So we put in an offer. Catherine and I talked, and we had a lot of conversation. And we're like, "What do you think? This would be a great way to build community, bring people together in a time where we're all so separated." Um, grow the arts, just grow people, nourish people, and. Um, what a great way to also then maybe use this as a as a platform to help do the the nonprofit work, which is called Twin Hearts, which we're still working on becoming an official 501c3. Uh, That's a pain. Totally, it's a long process. Long process. <laughs> and you you can't get any grants unless you are a nonprofit. So yep. and we want know. to become certified women owned. So hopefully that'll help as well. But just just. The feedback from the community so far, year and nine months in, has been, we're just, it's better than we expected. We, it, It's been... You're giving me hard. chills. Yeah. <laughs> it gives us chills every single day, Jackie, like, and someone will thank us or, you know, just say thank you for being here or just pay us a compliment on the space and the energy and the vibe. I mean, we've had people hug us in tears and thank us for being here. We've had people say that, you, that we saved them in, in a difficult time just by giving them a smile in the morning and serving their coffee and asking them how they are. So that's a little about me and, <laughs> and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Catherine and I have nothing to say. <laughs> oh, you no, have I'm so kidding. much to say. She's um, the goddess to this place. <laughs> yeah, I'm Catherine and um, when we first, Christina and I used to work together um, maybe we started about five years ago, and then our friendship blossomed into... Who did you work together? Where? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you cut that part out? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. So we, we, um, uh, we worked in for different real estate people doing administrative work, yeah. director oh. of operations for some restaurant retail locations. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Catherine actually hired me to be her assistant, and I ended up working um, kind of more towards the nonprofit arm of this organization and then eventually moving to the for profit side. And so I never really assisted her with anything, but we were meant to meet each other, and a great friendship yeah. came out of it. So we got to work together a lot. Yeah. So. Yep. That's wonderful. Yeah, she's Catherine's also a real estate broker. So. Oh, you are. You're a real estate agent. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's talk about your place now. Um, when I came up, uh, Christina, you were filling bird feeders, and and I just think that's so wonderful. That and and we're sitting outside right now, and it's just such a beautiful, serene space. Um, and I've noticed that you've been working out here and um, your wonderful little fountain here. So, um, who does that work? 
on the outside. Do you do that yourselves? We do. I mean, we just hired someone to help us lay these flagstone paths and put down the pretty river rock and trim up our trees and redo our stage so hopefully this year we can be on the Carborough Music Festival circuit and have a wonderful outdoor area for bands to play. Um, well, and if, if it rains, you've also got an inside spot, which is yep. wonderful. It's something that is needed. Yes. Yeah, we love having musicians play inside as well. And you have musicians play quite often here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we sure do. And we have a lot of original musicians come in and play. And uh, there's a gentleman who just came in who's going to do some poetry. He's going to read a poem and play a song. Oh, that's here great. This Saturday, his name is David. He just moved back from New York City, but he's been around the world. We do poetry slams, play readings, indie movie nights, chess nights, trivia nights, anything and everything that we can do to just... I love it. I love it. On chess night, we see people here from age 5 to 95. Chess boards everywhere. That is everywhere. so cool. Yeah, that's great. Now, um... I also noticed when I was sitting in there, um, you have you have food here. A lot of food. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that. Well, you you have all the you have an extensive list of coffees and teas that you offer. Um, and what kind of food do you have? That's unusual for a coffee yeah. shop. So I think. we also have uh, homemade flatbread pizzas, homemade ravioli, uh, a variety of sandwiches. We have. Seasonal salads that can be beet salad or pasta salad or potato oh, I love salad, beet salad, depending on what it is. Um, and smoothies and chia seed pudding. And Catherine makes the palm, vegan chili. Oh, chili. So we try to provide vegan options, vegetarian and gluten free as much as possible. Oh, that's great. Gluten free is hard. It's yeah, easy. it is. Um, we've just, my partner and I've just started trying to do that. <laughs> It's, challenging. it's a struggle. <laughs> it is, yeah, it sure is. Um, but we love being in here on the weekends and prepping the food for the week. And it's, it's just fun. Um, what are your hours here? 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week. Wow, that's a lot. Um, let's see, what else was I going to... Oh, I noticed also in there that you have a real cute little area where you sell earring jewelry and coffee mugs and just t-shirts and stuff like that that's pretty cool it looks like it's mainly locally made or you know local artisan kind of stuff yeah we have a couple artists um that have sent their work over that we sell uh, i source a lot of the earrings um and i just i source from different places some local some not but try to get handmade and crafts stuff. Um, there's a woman that makes bracelets. There's a guy, my cousin's husband, who makes um, the colored flower pots. And he um, dips them and he sends those. He's up in Massachusetts. He sends those oh, to us. Oh, how cool. I have a friend who's in Florida who makes some of the necklaces and, and does some of the photos. Coffee mugs, I have a blast finding those. I noticed one of them in there that, that I, I need. <laughs> we never offend anyone, but our whole thing yes. is if it makes us giggle, we got to get it. Right. Um, just to lighten the mood and create, you know, some humor in life where things are so serious sometimes. Um, one other thing that I wanted to ask you was your website address. Is that where you, or do you have a Facebook page, or ha where do you tell where stuff is happening? Yeah, um, all of it. <laughs> so we have uh, montescafe.com, and that also links directly to our Facebook and Instagram. Okay, so cool. We try to post there as much as possible to be able to get all the information out. We try to keep the chalkboard updated out front. Um, we make flyers that we post all around the building. Especially in the bathrooms, you know. Yeah, you got some reading material while you're <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> Catch them any way you can, That's right? right. <laughs> we just want people to come in and feel like they're hanging out at home. Yep. Well, it's wonderful. It's beautiful inside and out. Um, you guys should be proud of yourselves. You're, you're really doing great things here. And, and just talking to you, I've learned even more great things that you're doing. So that's that's just wonderful. Um, is there anything else that you think that uh, you need to 
tell the world because this is going worldwide, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Um, give us your feedback. We want your input. We want yeah. to know what you'd like. And if we can do it, we'll do it. Um, yeah, that's probably how you've come up with some of the stuff that you're yeah. doing here, huh? Just following what feels good and, yeah, and listening to the feedback and then continuing on that um, trajectory. But we just love people telling us what they would like to see and bring bring ideas you know if you want to host a book a club or a woman's group or a, a grief session or anything here like we want to be a platform for people to come together and grow and learn that's just it well that's wonderful thank you so much it's okay, been wonderful welcome. meeting you and learning more about what you're doing and um i will see you soon yes thank you, thank you so much really thank you a lot.